The PRIREACT project is a 24-month uh, duration project, research project, partially funded by the European Commission. We are seven partners from six different countries, uh, three SMEs, three research centers and one end user. Uh, the main objective of the project uh, has been to develop a novel surveillance system. This is not yet another CCTV traditional system. This, uh, the PRIREACT solution actually uh, is uh, very scalable, it's modular, it's flexible, it's, uh, it can be dynamically reconfigured. Uh, it's been designed to be low cost as well. And, and it's focused, uh, I haven't said it, it's focused on detecting, preventing, and then prosecuting petty crimes. Um, another important uh, characteristic of the solution is that it has uh, two levels. One is on, on the embedded platform, on the, on the premises of the customers, of the end customers, and then the, a central service uh, on the cloud. The embedded platforms that are on the, on the local points uh, they can have multiple sensors connected, for example, video depth or audio. And, and there is business logic. Uh, there are uh, analysis modules that are running on those embedded platforms, um, which then again, those video, audio or depth analysis modules components can detect events, suspicious events. Uh, the business logic on the embedded platform determines if that suspicious event should be sent to the cloud, in which case the cloud makes a second round of verification to make sure that the suspicious event is certainly uh, a suspicious, you know, petty crime incident, and then it shows an alert to the operator. Uh, then the operator can decide whether to uh, accept and see the full details of the alert uh, or dismiss or assign it to another colleague of him or her. Or, or her. Well, there is another important feature I haven't mentioned, which is the visual uh, video content management system, the VCMS. This tool is mainly uh, for uh, Kind of more in-depth analysis of the historical data of alerts of incidents that have taken place. Uh, it has dashboards, advanced searches, and allows again identification of trends, patterns, etc. More than prosecuting or dynamically responding to on-the-fly or real-time incidents. This is mainly it. I hope that you like the project.